I think to understand what's going on with MAPS and to understand what's going on with MDMA-assisted psychotherapy, um, it helps to think in terms of exponential growth. MAPS initially was set up to take MDMA through the Food and Drug Administration, through the FDA, and make it into a medicine for the FDA. The more that I learned about what we were doing, the more I realized that we needed to globalize MDMA. So the first MDMA study that we were able to do was uh, in 2004, and it took us 12 years uh, till 2016 to complete a series of six uh, phase two safety and efficacy pilot studies where we were looking at various questions about basically how to design phase three. So I think the results that we have are absolutely remarkable. And one of the most important questions is, can we replicate this? When we received the breakthrough therapy designation from FDA for MDMA-assisted psychotherapy for PTSD, that was in recognition of two things. The first was that there were large numbers of people that were not adequately treated by the currently available treatments, and also that MDMA-assisted psychotherapy for PTSD was a novel approach. And they wanted, the FDA wanted to really acknowledge that and, and help us move forward through the system. We still have a lot of ways to go. The hardest is ahead, which is scaling up to phase three studies for MDMA-assisted psychotherapy for PTSD, both in the US and Europe. And if we can do that, then we have to scale up exponentially even more to train thousands and tens of thousands of therapists. But MAPS is, in essence, um, a change agent using um, pharmaceutical science as the point of leverage into our society, but the goals go way beyond that.